Hey everybody, it's Julie. Thanks for joining me today for some faith art journaling. I am using the By the Well for God kit entitled Waiting in Day 2, and this is kind of the wrap-up page. I'm using a traveler's notebook insert here, and this is the last page of the whole process, the whole kit that I've been doing. And I'm using one of the printables that came in the coordinating digital pr uh, coordinating digital paper set, and I have printed it on the sticker sheets, and I'll have all the products linked that I have used. And because this is such a big image, it works well just to stick the whole thing on my page. So you can see there, I didn't have to do much to that page. That pretty much takes it, the whole page right there. So I'm going to focus on my second page, the opposite page, and I'm going to do some stamping. Now, in my digital, no my uh, traveler's notebooks, when I'm working in these uh, traveler's notebook inserts like this, because I make them bulky, I usually do any stamping on the right side, the right page, simply because anything that's going to be on the left, is I'm going to be dealing with a lot of bulk. So that's why I, I just stuck that sticker down, and now I'm going to stamp over here on the right side. So I'm using a Creative Retreat pigment ink. This one's called Cotton Candy. It's just a beautiful pink color. And I am brushing on some color with just a cheap makeup brush that I got from a dollar store. And so I was heavy handed there on the edge of the border. And now I'm just going all around the edges of the page just to give it a little bit of an edge. And you see I'm just brushing along the, the small edge. But I was very heavy handed and I worked my way into the page, kind of a third of the way in the page. And that's going to be my backdrop for some stamping. I'm using one of the stamps that came with the kit. I had a couple of the stamps and I'll make sure that I link them. Currently this stamp, this whole kit is sold out, but it will be restocked. Um, the new kit is available now. The new kit is called Adorned, but I am just finishing up this whole kit. It was a powerful, powerful kit about waiting on God and waiting on God's plan and then how to find faith during that waiting time. So some of the words that are in this stamp set, uh, one of them is waiting, one says joy, one says steadfast, one says, oh, waiting, joy, steadfast, hope, I think the other one says, or trials. So I'm using those just to uh, put some images on the background. I love them. I'm using that same pink color so that it's light. It's just faint. And I am doing them wonky and random shapes, making sure that they go back and forth. And this just gives the semblance of movement. It's almost as if I have taken those words and I've thrown them up in the air and they have just landed in random places. So some of them are hanging off the page and some of them, you know, they're just going in all different directions. So just imagine that you've taken all those words and you've thrown them up in the air and then they've landed just kind of like 52 card pickup or uh, pixie sticks or something like that. It's to give that random look. You don't want it too precise. Okay, so I've done that. Now I'm pulling out some alpha stickers. This is a simple page, and I'm pulling out, I'm trying to see which colors I want to use. I think I'm going to go with the multicolored stickers that came actually with the kit, and then some of the other stickers that I'm going to use, the alpha stickers that were an optional add-on that have various colors. So again, I will link all these products. You can get them in the Buy the Well for God store on Etsy. And I'm using my Bible mat to line up the stickers. So I just take these alpha stickers and place them mostly off the edge. So just the bottom tip is on the Bible mat. And this just allows me to check my placement. Now I'm out of the O's because I use the word hope a lot in this kit. 
So I've used up all my O's, so I've taken a Q and I'm just cutting off the tail. So this says my anchor, my hope, my joy. That is what my title is going to say here. So now I've placed those stickers down and I can just gently pull that Bible mat out by kind of holding my hand there on the letters. Again, I've got to cut an O out because I used all my O's in the blue. So I'm using the pink, the blue, and then the multicolor alphas. So check out the wrap-up video that I will have linked, and that's going to show all of the um, pages that I did in this Traveler's Notebook, in this Faith Art Journal. And it was just a fun process. I really, I go back and forth between working in my Bible, working in a traveler's notebook like this, or working in a scripture journal. It just, it keeps it fresh for me sometimes, particularly like this, this specific study was all, even though there were some references to other verses in the Bible, but it was an in-depth study of the book of Habakkuk. So I felt like a lot of my entries would be very um, heavy right there in Habakkuk, and I wouldn't have enough room. So that's why I wanted to work here in the Traveler's Notebook, and it gives a lot of space for journaling. So I'm outlining my letters so that you can read them on that white background. Just These are light colors, especially that multicolor, those multicolor letters, so it just helps you to read them. And I have found that if you have a very fine tip, this is a point two tip. It's just easier to outline them without making, um, getting stray lines. I still get stray lines when I'm outlining them because I just go too fast, but I'm not worried about that. But the smaller the tip, the easier it is. So here's one of the faux washi strips that you get in the uh, devotional kit, the Bible journaling devotional kit, and I have cut it in half. And I used one of the um, clear stickers that you get in the kit. Everything here except the digital papers that I used that big sticker, that was an add-on. And then those alpha stickers in the blue and pink, those were add-ons. So I'm just trying to figure out what specific Bible reference I want to um, mark down here. So I'm going to use these little stickers. This also was an add-on. You get one of these little sticker sheets. Actually, I think you get two of them with the kit, but then you can add on some of the other colors. So I decided to choose the Romans verse. Jesus is our anchor and we can hold on to him. He is steady. He is our living hope. So when we hope in him, when we're going through the trials, when we're waiting on him during the tough times, during the waiting period, uh, we can hope in him now. And we also have him as our hope for the future. He is our living hope. He is our future hope. He is what gets us through today. And he is our hope for tomorrow. So it's a present hope and a future hope. And because of that hope, we have joy, even when it doesn't feel good, even when we're not happy about what happens or what is going on around us, we can still have joy. And that was the premise of this whole study, and it was powerful. So I've attached a bow. I just took one of the bows and I added one of the buttons to it. I just attached it to it and then stuck it up at the top. And then you can see I used a little bit of that faux washi to attach it to the back and I date stamped it down at the bottom. I'm going to do my journaling off screen and you can see that here in the still shot. And that is it for the page, a simple page. Um, you can check the where I've got it linked below in the description box, the wrap up video and then um, give this video a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comments section and Come back and join me. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.